So um, basically in this one, guys, the main important thing is to rewrite this, right, in descending order. A lot of students make the mistakes, make the mistake here is, guys, this is a negative 2. So I got to rewrite this as a negative 2x squared. That's a positive 7. Okay, So when you reorder that, make sure you guys look at the power or look at the power in front of it. Not the power, but the sign in front of it so you know what sign it's going to be. Does that make sense? Just got to be very careful with that. So now it's in descending order. This one's fairly simple. Let's identify the degree. The degree, again, is the highest exponent, which, or highest power, which again is 2. The leading coefficient is the value in front of that, which is negative 2. Now, let's go ahead and classify this. Now remember, we classify by degree and number of terms. If the degree can either be linear, um, linear, quadratic, cubic, or quartic. Since we have a degree of 2, this is a quadratic. Huh? This one? Yeah. Because this one had a degree of five, which we don't have. We don't classify oh, with so a degree of five. Is, um, we went up to is four. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then we count the number of terms. This one only has two terms. Does anybody remember what we call a polynomial with two terms? Yes, Binomial. Shaw. Binomial. <coughs> okay. And the same thing. This one had four terms. That's why we didn't have a classification for it. Okay. Because oh. um, we only go up to three terms. Yes. Monomial, binomial, trinomial. Wait, monomial is when there's two terms or one term? Binomial, uh, bicycle, two tires, two terms. Uh, trinomial, tricycle, three tires. So is this just classifying or is this classifying? And then mono well, we're not done yet. I'm not done. So why, do you, why did you do this on this one? Again, we don't have classification for the fifth degree and four terms. We don't have. We would say this is a polynomial to the fifth degree and four terms. What we don't have a class of a. One, so one term. No, 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 no. Guys, there was. Listen. All right. Well, let me finish this up and I'll go through this again. Um, so now we got to determine end behavior. We notice that our degree is um, degree is even, and our leading coefficient is negative. negative. So. We go back to our little chart for end behavior. And when we determine what our end behavior is, this graph falls left and falls right. I was freaking right. OK, so you got to have that table. Again, guys, if you don't have the table, it's going to be very difficult to be able